your crush to like you. Since every guy has a dead fish pick on Hinge, we decided to speak their language. Brilliant. She's gonna go get a fish and speak his love language. But then like, why is fish's dude's love language specifically holding them? Like, can we just like drop the hunter gatherer act? Like, how about you just take photos shopping? That would work, I think. Speaking for myself. Also like dangerous game to play. Like imagine, take this photo with your fish and he's like, oh my God, I have my fish. Now suddenly he wants to go fishing on all your dates because he thinks you're into holding fish. That backfired real quick. So I modeled with a guy I had just met 12 hours prior on Hinge. Okay, so she needed models for a photo shoot and she was like, hey, free labor. <laughs> and she's like, we might have to kiss for the photo shoot, but it can just be like a peck. And he's like, maybe we can make out off camera. Ooh, spicy. Ooh, did it get hot in here? So this is them meeting. Even if like it doesn't work out, then at least you'll have like all these memories and weird photos of you getting like pretend fake married to someone who you just met. That's cute. Also kind of awkward if you don't work out, but yeah. If your crush ever asks you, do you have a crush on anyone? You have to respond with, yeah, you. Ooh, saucy. They could either admit their feelings back for you or but then what you can get your heart broken. No, not my heart. It's too fragile. If they don't feel the same, this is how you respond. <gasps> That's so smart. You twist it on them. Make them feel stupid. Like whoever thought bad punctuation would come in handy. I meant, yeah, I have a crush on someone. Do you? Oh, that was kind of like the difference between let's eat grandma or let's eat grandma. You don't want to do the second one. Commas are all of our friends, especially grandmas. Guess what I have in my hand? Are you just flexing your nails? No, yes. Bruno. Who's Bruno? Oh, it's a flower for you. OMG. I was so confused why you texted me that. Oh crap, there's a bee. Oh no. He's stealing the flower. Bees don't steal flowers, silly. They pollinate. Wait, he said he's sending it to you. Fake news. Baby girl, did you get it? Hold on, there's someone knocking on the door. Hold up, this is more important. Wait, actually, never mind, it's just your homie. Oh, oh he put the emojis and he's holding the bee's hand. Oh, they belong together. I love bees, by the way. Like, not around me, just in general. They can be a little intimidating when they're like a stinger away from me. You know that I'm kind of like. <laughs> But when I see them from like a distance, I'm like, you cute, you special, and you keep pollinating this earth. Hi, how's your day going? I'm doing well, is this Anna? Yes, it is. Oh my gosh, hi. Wait, did he just recognize her by her voice? I'm impressed. All right, I actually have a drink idea. To give you. Oh my gosh, stop. That yeah, that sounds perfect. I would love that. I, didn't I love watching perfect. people flirt. It's so cute. Yeah, so we'll see you up here. Okay, see you soon. Thank you. Ah, wait, I just... <gasps> he put his number on the cup. He put his number on the cup. Wait a minute. Did, did you just get hotter here? <laughs> yes, it did get hotter here, baby girl. Okay, another Starby. I'm going to cover the, the phone The way to a girl's heart is a Starbies. <laughs> She's so cute. There's a tear. Oh. As you can tell, I never get hit on, but today was my day, I guess. And our random drink was I hope it works out. ice, black tea with brown sugar syrup, oat milk, and no water. He told me it tastes like boba. We love a good boba. We do love Starbucks. a good boba. So cheers. Here's how to get any girl's phone number. All okay. you do after having at least a two second exchange with them is saying, hey, I got a jet. That's all? You just gotta tell them you got a jet? Then what happens when you don't actually have a jet? It sounds like a terrible plan. Let's hear my dude out. You're asking them to say no rather than asking them to say yes. Mm, so you're saying them like, would I be overstepping if I asked you? So they're saying you're not overstepping. This is some mind ninja stuff. Like it comes off super polite and considerate. But the fact that you watched a video and to do this kind of feels manipulative to me. So I don't know how I Stand. They feel safe, they feel like they're in control. And so she says, no, that, that wouldn't be overstepping because we're asking them about whether it's overstepping, not whether we can ask for the number. So the question is changing, which is why you actually get- Tomato, tomato. Are you okay? Do you need something? I need your number. <laughs> Dinner and a pickup line? Items off the menu cost extra? She was so embarrassed. Cause they wrote movie night at 8 p.m. with sticky notes. And then they said, what movie? Come find out. Winky face. Oh, saucy. <laughs> 
getting hot in here. Bruh, please, sad face. Okay, we added a heart. Popcorn question mark? I mean, how could you watch a movie without popcorn? They're like, no, but you gotta bring. We are providing the movie. Oh, no, they're gonna buy it. BRB, love you. Love you to strangers. Whiskey. You might be blowing your chance. No, it was reciprocated. Love you too. This honestly reminds me of that really awkward time when I was like on the phone with my bank. And then right before I hung up, I said, love you, bye. And the most awkward part was they said, I love you back. <laughs> I wanted to crawl into myself. Oh no, I hope a big booty girl that loves tacos and dogs doesn't follow me home. <laughs> Did you just say I hope a big booty girl that loves tacos and dogs doesn't follow me home with tacos following his trail home? I think that dog's gonna eat the tacos before she gets to them. Also, like they say you shouldn't take candy from strangers, but like are tacos okay? Cause I'd probably be the genius following the tacos. It'd be my demise for sure. At least I'd go out with a belly full of tacos. <laughs> Quit eating those. I'm trying to find you a mom. I'm trying to find you a mom. One of the girls thought a construction worker outside our job was cute. So I wrote her info on a note and she taped it on their cooler. They probably think she's like robbing them. She was running to their cooler back and forth, leaving notes. She had to run back and switch out the note because I had misspelled her Snapchat and Instagram name account. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Mission accomplished. I love the giggling in the background. Thinking about that time I was at the doctor for a checkup on my sprained wrist, but my friend posted this on my story to see if my crush would say he liked me. Riley isn't doing so good. So if you have anything you've been wanting to tell her, you should do it now. She has a sprained ankle. She's gonna heal. The dramaticness. Like, I'm not really above pity love, I guess. It's like giving, like, she doesn't have much longer to live, so if you're afraid of commitment, shoot your shot. Ugh. That sounds terrible. I hope he reached out. Hey, guy in the green shirt. Guy in the green shirt. She cackled Hi, him. Are you single? <laughs> Can I get your number? That seemed to work out. I don't know if I would ever catcall somebody. I don't think I could do it. I don't have it in me. Okay, I want to hear in the comments. How does everybody feel about catcalling? No, a lot of people don't like it. I'm not that much of a fan of it personally. I'm just curious to know what people's opinions are. Judge, you are so gorgeous, so gorgeous, Judge. I just had to tell you, you're gorgeous. You hit me on the judge? I need to shake that out of my head. What? I mean, it may be his last chance. You gotta respect it. Like, what's the worst that could happen? Oh, right, life imprisonment. Does this help your case or make it worse? I don't know. All right, Mr. Lewis, flattery will get you everywhere, but maybe not here. <laughs> ah, but maybe not here. Hitting it on your judge does not help if you've committed crimes. Sorry, she just don't commit crimes like that. Maybe then she would have gone out with him. Should I land this bottle flip? Can I have your number? So, um, that was just practice. Question still stands. <clears throat> Third time's a charm? Ooh. What's she gonna say? She said, no, I didn't ever said yes. I'm Canadian. I don't even have a phone number down here. So wait, her first excuse is that she's Canadian. Her second one is that she doesn't even have a phone number. Do you have a Canadian phone number? I do, but it's not in service. And I'm down here with my boyfriend. So the legitimate reason comes in last. She has a boyfriend. Us Canadians are too polite. So could we talk as friends? Okay. <laughs> People actually do say this sometimes. They come in for like wanting to date and then they're like well like what about just friends but i feel like that's not the intention you know she's like a lot of guys say that he's like oh no i wasn't trying to make a relationship no 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 i'm a gaslighter <laughs> oh it's little feet kicks for me this is kendall's girlfriend application can make fire out of sticks will protect you can name most local birds and i can too that one's a michael that's an elizabeth matching rate coats with my dog great planning adventures oh they look like so much fun definitely passed the girlfriend check do you want to date? Sure. You're supposed to say no. Okay, then no. Girl, you got him. Now you don't? Wait, what did I ask again? Do you want to date? Oh my god, I thought you never asked. I guess this is so she could say that he asked her out. It was cute and everything, but the way I look at it is if it isn't a heck yes, someone isn't so excited to be with you, then honestly, I feel like being single is better. What's the point of love? It's just like, meh, sure. I'd personally rather just be alone and spend that time with my friends and wait for the right person. That's some assy advice right there. I know it sounds cliche, but like, life's is short to spend it with somebody who you're just like meh about and they're meh about you. And if you're spending your time settling for the wrong people, then you're 
you're not leaving the opportunities open for you to meet the right person and you might meet them in your relationship and it's not the right time. You don't want to do that to yourself. Okay, tip for my ladies out there. If Listening. you want a man to like you, all you gotta do is say these few words. It's very simple. I'm listening. Yeah, I could see you doing stand up. <laughs> but at what cost? Imagine he's not actually funny and you told him he can do stand up. You'll have to endure a full relationship full of bad jokes and fake laughs. I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. Did you know that you can make someone like you just by using a specific scent? I mean, they kind of have to like you already. It's not like scents or magical potions. They might just like you help a little. So there are different types here. of scents that can increase arousal or make someone perceive this more attractive. And surprisingly enough, one of these scents is pumpkin. Okay, pumpkin spice latte drinkers, I see you. Try wearing a pumpkin scent or something that includes pumpkin melts. I mean, everybody does love pumpkin pie, don't they? Maybe she's onto something. Can't believe this just happened. That pickup line was so smooth. Oh my god. Oh, that smile is so awesome. Ah. I love when people get excited about love. If somebody used that pickup line on me, you'd have to like mop me off the floor because I would melt. Hello, it's Anne. How to get your crush. So, I'm assuming that you're thinking of one specific person. Now, this isn't the only way to get your crush. Are you guys thinking of someone? I'm going to try to explain how you can get in your crush's head. What I mean by that, if a person continues to think about someone specific and they are constantly in their head, they will eventually fall for that person. Okay. This is gonna sound weird, but comment, not compliment. Compliments are great and they're memorable, but you wanna get your crush thinking. So instead of telling them, hey, nice jacket, say something like, hey, you must really like that jacket. In their head, they're gonna be like, do I wear this jacket a lot? Is that a bad thing? Is that a good thing? Comment, not compliment. Interesting. Okay, we should test this theory out by commenting on this video. I'm sure that's what she meant. Also, if somebody said that to me, I'd be like, I do like this jacket. Wanna fight about it? JK, 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 I'm not that aggressive. I would be like, do I wear this too much? Eye contact when you guys talk. Yes. You have to talk to your crush in order to get your No, crush. I refuse! You gotta move past the whole, I'm too scared. Relationships are scary. If you can't say hi, it's never gonna happen. Am I the only one who gets scared to make too intense eye contact? Like, I'm sure that's not what she meant. Don't do that. I think you'll scare your crush away. I don't know what business I have making a video like this. I'm the most awkward person on this planet. I'd be like, like I'm, I'm looking, looking into your soul. soul. While like asking which, how your weekend is, how, how was the weekend? weekend? <laughs> While I do believe the thing she's saying works to some extent, I think you either like someone or you don't. You can't manipulate someone into liking you. And if you do, then it's not real. And if it's not real, do you want it really? I tried to ask my, is that boyfriend or best friend? I don't know. Tried to ask him to prom. He thought I told the waitress it was his birthday. He didn't get why I kept taking pictures of him. He doesn't get it. He's like, good life hack, babe. Free dessert, babe. He didn't even see that. It's prom on the crib. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure he got it eventually. Or like, at that point, do you even have the balls to ask? I'd be too scared. I was about to delete Hinge and then they came up with this update. I do a really good impression of Harry Potter. Hey, how's it going? I'm Harry Potter. I'm gonna cast a spell on you. Ah. <laughs> They had a voice memo update. Wait, what? Among Us IRL just venting in? Like I never said everything in this compilation was like a good way to get your crush to like you. I'm just saying it's a way. That one was an example of a bad way. Let's, let's not be creepy and sneak into people's vents. I will say one thing, all these methods work better than just scribbling your crush's name into your notebook over and over again and hoping that somehow that's a magic spell that gets them to notice you. That girl was right, you gotta at least talk to them. But it's so scary. The date went really well, but I was too nervous to invite her inside. Oh, so instead, I took her car keys. If you can't get the keys to someone's heart, at least get the keys to their Honda Civic. Like I said, not all the advice in this video is good advice. It's just advice. I mean, technically, it is a good way to make sure someone never leaves you. Where's she gonna go? Doesn't have her keys. I'm joking, this is terrible. Don't do that. My name's Aaron. What's your name? The pizza Janice, pickup Janice, pleasure to meet you. Hey, question, Janice. All right, so who around here makes the best pizza? Boom, everybody loves pizza. Everybody also has an opinion on who makes the best pizza. Okay, and if they don't like pizza, it's a good way to weed the people out of your life who don't like pizza because we don't need that type of negativity in our lives. We don't. Okay, so here's the deal. I'm gonna take you out this weekend for pizza, Saturday. What's okay. your number? Smooth. Gentlemen, it's time for you 
to make it happen. Pizza. And even if you don't find love, you will love the pizza. He wasn't paying attention to me, so. <laughs> no, baby girl, do not give him a waterfall in his Grand Canyon. <laughs> his reaction, oh my god, I can't breathe. I mean, that was memorable, I'll give her that. I'm gonna be paying attention to you for the wrong reasons. I thought I was supposed to be the only snack in your seat. Please, add another one right here. I love a compliment that comes with a side of onions. It's truly the best. Stop playing the jealousy game. You don't need to tell him how many guys are into you or how many guys are Snapchatting you. If he hears that and there's a lot, he's probably just gonna be unattracted. Okay, taking notes. Stop bragging about all my holes in different area codes. Got it, baby girl? She's right. The jealousy game is just like so toxic, I can't. Don't start toxic relationships like that where you're like competing over, where you're trying to make the other person jealous. Because then where do you draw the line? It's gonna keep escalating. No one's ever gonna be happy. Gonna do spiteful things. He's gonna do spiteful things. You're gonna do spiteful things. Doesn't end well. How to get a boy's attention? Well, first, you do absolutely nothing. Focus on yourself. And that's when a boy will come along and think to themselves, wow, she's so happy. Let me go ruin her life. I was like, yes, baby girl, you're on to something in the end. I'm like, oh. Shout out to her headphone cord that's as messy as my dating history. Okay, yeah, get him chocolate. Ooh, she wanted to make a heart and he hit her with that a thumbs up. I felt that deep in my soul. Okay, I'll give her one thing, she is persistent, but I'm getting more like paparazzi than like love of his life. How to get your crush to like you. Step one, hang upside down. Step two, yeet her glasses. Step three, hope she blames yeeting of glasses on some random dude. And apparently salt's it. Step four, hop down like Tarzan and claim your mace. <laughs> Or, call me weird, but you could just talk to someone like a normal person. You know, just a minor suggestion. You know, teensy suggestion. I cut my hair, and like a big weirdo, I surprised my partner and gave them your hair in a bucket? This compilation's weird. Some people are like, you know, just be yourself, and other people are like, give them all your hair! And now I don't know what to do, and I'm more confused than I ever was. Stop crossing your arms. It can quickly become a habit to do this. When you stand with an open posture, it'll make you look more charismatic, confident. This is good advice because I never know what to do with my arms. So sometimes it's just easy to do this. But maybe I should be doing this or this or this or this. Or this is all worse, isn't it? Now I get more confused. What do I do with these arms? Okay, last tip. Wear the color red. Studies prove red is the most attractive color to wear. Oh, Mo, I messed up. I told you I had no business doing a video like this. Can't even wear the color red. He gets so obsessed when a girl bites her bottom lip. But how about you bite that top lip for me, baby? You're my little piranha. I just cringed. Is that because it's like, you know, giving mystery, like danger? Like, baby, I live in the Amazon. I can eat you in one bite. <laughs> I don't know if I want to be given all that. I feel silly. I can't. <laughs> I'm too awkward to bite my lip at all. <laughs> this is a sign to take a pan booty photo to send to your crush. <gasps> That's awesome. Is this why I have pans in my house and I don't cook? This must be why. I mean, why else would I have them? She's a genius. I don't know if this video will be ready in time, but I'm trying to get it up for Valentine's Day. So if today's Valentine's Day, happy Valentine's Day. If it's not, then I feel it. I hope you did have a happy Valentine's Day. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you all so much. Stay awesome, stay sweet, and don't forget to be nice to each other. I can't speak. See you in the next video.